hello and welcome back so now in this video we will destroy this thing with our car okay as you know our car can hit zombies so our car can hit this object as well let's add the script which was by the name object to hit okay add the script here its health will be let's just leave it as 100 because our vehicle also gives damage of 100 so when this gets damage I think it was this full thing. Whoops, let me now remove that script from there and select this whole thing and add this object to it. And now, if you open up the vehicle script right here, you can kill the zombies. Now, let's also we can hit the wall as well. So we will add a else if actually let me open up the rifle script right here we did that everything already so let me copy that paste it right here just type else if so if you hit that object to hit okay whatever is holding that script if we hit it then we want to give it a damage and also we need that Right here, add that. And we can see our vehicle give the damage of 100. Okay, we want to now play the wood effect. Actually, we will play the destroy effect. And let's create a reference for this destroy effect. At the top, we have the score effect. Let's say that we destroy effect now. Let's now save the script. Okay, where was this? It is right here. Now we can damage this as well. But first, let me click on the vehicle. We need to add the destroy effect. If you go inside the prefabs, we have the wood effect. Let's duplicate the wood effect remove this to destroy effect let me check the jmo uh, effects right here we have different types of effect okay we have this explosion okay we have that explosion as well this explosion as well we don't need that one okay let's just create our own wood effect because this is a wood where is it the destroy effect it is right here let's actually play this in looping time oh, let me first of all click on that Actually, what we can do is delete that from there. Open this up. Okay, the duration will be um, one second, maybe, or two second. Okay, the start lifetime will be one second, and on the start speed, be one. Okay, it will happen quickly. So actually make it zero one now. Okay now it happens slow. Let's make it two. Okay. Let's make the start size five and ten. Okay, let's actually make this ten as well. Okay. Now it is done. Let's save this back. Save it now. Let's set the destroy effect. Here it is. It is still not that big. So let's make this 50. Or actually, let's make this 100 and 100. That's it. Now let's add it. Okay. Now if you click on vehicle, 
and add the destroy effect. Let me now play the game. And guys, you will notice that when we hit this, it plays the wood effect. And now let's hit the wall with our vehicle. Let's run towards the vehicle. the vehicle let's sit in it okay and let's run towards the wall I think we don't have a collider on this let me check this out okay it doesn't have any collider so now we need to add a collider to this let's add the box collider why we forgot that moment let me add the collider right here Okay, and when we hit this collider, this wall will simply just get destroyed. Now I am inside the vehicle again. And this time it should work. Let's drive there. Okay, let me hit it now and as you can see now, the wall is being vanished and we are right here. Let's get out of the vehicle. Let's jump and now we are right here. So with this done, now in the next video we will add all of these functionalities in our other scenes as well. Okay, we have these two scenes as well so we need to add them in that scenes. Because if we open up that scenes, you will notice that it doesn't have any objectives at all. So catch you guys in the next one.